What's going on YouTube? This is Gabe and welcome to my first video. On this channel, I will be uploading all sorts of tech videos like this one, so if you like tech, please consider subscribing. In this video, I will be showing you guys Android O running on my Nexus 6P. Alright, so first up is a slightly redesigned notification shade. This time around, it has a white background with black icons. Also, the date has been moved to the bottom along with the profile switcher and settings icons. Oh, and this super cool animation as you swipe down from the top might low-key be one of my favorite parts of this whole update. The settings app is also completely redesigned with a grayscale theme and an overall cleaner look. The list is also shorter, making it more simplistic and easier to find what you need. This was all introduced in the first developer preview, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Next up are the new emojis. Gone are the blobs of Android 7.0, and the emojis are now more realistic looking and closer in resemblance to the emojis found in iOS. Personally, they've grown on me, and I think I like them. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. One useful feature they announced at Google I.O. is smart text selection. This essentially uses contextual awareness to give you suggestions when you highlight a section of text. For example, when you double tap on an address, it'll give you the option to search that address in the Google Maps app. Similarly, if you highlight a phone number, you'll be given the option to call that number in the dialer app. At Google I.O., they announced what they call the answer to multitask in Android, picture in picture. When you press the home button in an app like YouTube, the video shrinks to a small window so you can multitask. Sadly, this didn't work on my device. One of the more exciting features they announced at Google I.O. was something called Notification Dots. Whenever you have a notification for an app, a color-coded dot appears in the corner of the app's icon. From there, you can long press on the app and deal with the notification. Sadly, this didn't work on my device either. Next up is the lock screen shortcuts. This feature was added in the first developer preview, but I thought I'd bring it up in this update. So you know those shortcuts at the bottom of your lock screen? Now, in Android O, you can set each shortcut to open up pretty much any app or shortcut. In the System UI Tuner, you are able to select an app for the left shortcut and an app for the right shortcut. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this to work properly on my device. This is a beta release though, and the issue should get solved with a software update. Another thing Google talked about was something called Vitals. Vitals focuses on improvements in speed, performance, and battery life. They also mentioned improvements in boot time. In my testing, there weren't any significant improvements in the overall performance of my device, but I was blown away by how fast the Nexus 6P turned on. One thing Google didn't talk about at Google I.O. was the design refresh of the ambient display. It now looks much cleaner with only the time and the app icons for your notifications. My favorite part of this refresh is how new notifications are presented to you when the phone is asleep. So that's Android O on the Nexus 6P. What do you think? Obviously it still needs a little work and not all the features are present on my device, but that's to be expected in a beta release. Besides that, that's been it and make sure you're subscribed for more content like this. Thanks for watching.